Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Redstock Straight from Point Magoo, California. Today we're going to do a video review of the Stunticons. Yeah, this is going to be a three part review. Let's I want to merge them together, so don't hold me accountable. This is Drag Strip Dead End Motor Master Breakdown and Wild Rider. Now, as G1 goes, it's not too bad. What can I say? Let's take a quick look at all five figures. We're going to separate motor, we're going to take Motor Masters, we're going to go left to right here, starting with our boy. Drag strip. Uh, I've already made a nice, nice little review of this guy before in its nice TFCon iteration. One, one thing about the only thing I like about this guy is these guys have humongous guns that pop into the back that for no apparent reason at all. Uh, and then also has a little small gun. He's the only one that can actually hold his little small gun in vehicle mode. All the other ones, as you can see, cannot. So. Okay, these guys just roll around. I'm not going to belabor the point because they're pretty basic. It has six wheels, although for some odd reason, the third wheel right here does not connect to the ground. And they're not rubber wheels, so our, you know, by then the G1 has decided no more rubber wheels, so this is 1985. Okay, it is what it is. I'm not going to rate these guys. I mean, fairly basic, so generic little forms here. The transformation is really simple. The only thing is that, just like uh, the reveal of the shield, they had the real rub sign. Transformation is basic. Pop up. Ooh, hey, he's got a nice little Decepticon signal. Pop up the engine block, put it in the chest, pop that out, pull that down, and he's got that ugly or satisfying looking. What do you call that? Purple, purple and blue head. Not much texture, not much features, but these guys are so generic and brick like. I'm just going to give everybody a 5 out of 10 how generic these things are. The only thing is that you don't do anything with this big gun except set it aside so there's wild sorry drag strip now on to dead end transformation for these guys are the same I like that every weapon does swivel so if you want to put them around in a nice little swivel I like this red looks like a Porsche or some kind of looking thing 930 I'm not sure I like the colors actually this guy he's the most colorful one and I, I appreciate that He's got a nice, beautiful gold face, so you can see that. Clean, clean lines. Transformation, pretty much the same as breakdown that you'll see here. Head goes up like that, and I like that the legs pull that apart. And then just pop it back in. Yeah, of course, it, our, he's a skinny little dude. Articulation isn't that great, but hey, it's G1, so you can pop the. There we go. That's him with his gun, and I do like the details. He has the best detail on his head, I think. So, that is good old dead end. Ugly as ever. Loose. His pistol is loose. Alright, who's next? Breakdown. Same thing, swivel. It looks like a Lamborghini Countach. So, yeah. Pop that out. Okay, legs swivel out. Pop that down, and really ugly. I know that mines are like this. Is what happens when you have 30 year old to 20, 29 year old figures? Pop that down. Not much. So he's a little taller of the bunch. He's pretty tall. So there you go. Septicon symbols rubbing off. Eh, he's okay. Blue accents, cream color. Yeah, whatever. Last dude, Wild Rider. Okay. Looking all right. Swivel. Not bad looking thing. I can't remember what kind of car this is. If y'all want to help me out, that's all good. So, I like the paint apps actually. Good paint apps on this one. Although, two different colors of red. Rub sign, molding, detailing. Dang, this is like a Ferrari, isn't it? Oh well. Pop that out, just like everybody else. This one is even simpler. Pull that out. Okay, and that, ooh, I like the bonnet. Look at the bonnet's a little different. Yeah, just like that. So, I like the red. The red's really striking. And it kind of provides a balance to the gunmetal gray. But as you can see, no hands. So, yeah, you're going to get docked for that. Even though very sparse detailing, you can't really make out his head. Yeah, pretty average at best. And the shortest of the bunch, as you can see. All right, let's see what we're talking about. Yeah, nice dive. Breakdown. Okay. So let me bring G.I. Joe here. 
So he, these guys are small. There's no doubt about it. So three and three quarter inch size here. Even smaller than that. So let's put them against a deluxe figure. And you can clearly see that these guys are tiny. So even the taller ones. <laughs> so there you go. All right, I mean, they're small figures, they're bricks, and they do what they do. I mean, they're just meant to combine because it's really all they do. So, uh, it is what it is. All of them are a bunch of bricks. They're average in, at best, so 5 out of 10 for every one of them. So, I'll, I'll just go ahead and we'll go to part 2 here and we'll tell you how they combine in part 3. We're going to do a detailed analysis of good old Motor Master. All right, YouTubers, that's all I got, and i catch you all next time.